Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha for those of you that are new and if it is your first time visiting my channel, clicking on this video, I want to say hello, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here today joining me for today's video. Now today I'm going to be sharing a very neutral home decor haul. I've shopped at Target, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and I have one Amazon find that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. As you guys can see, I have my one little candle here. It is very plain. That's because I'm in the process of redecorating this space. So I wanted to kind of add some kind of little something over there so it's not too, too plain, even though, hello. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like my style has evolved and changed so much over these past couple of months. Moving on to the new year, my heart has just really been craving neutral, neutral decor pieces. The blacks, the beiges, very just earthy tones. And that's what I'm planning on bringing into our apartment this year. I'm so, so excited. But I cannot wait to share with you guys what all I picked up. So let's go ahead and get on with it. So I think I'm going to start off with, what should I start off with? I'm gonna start off with Target because why not? Target is just the good goods. Target has the good. So the first item that I picked up from Target, I'm sure everybody has by now. And if you don't, go to the store now and get it because it's a good one. Okay, so here we are. It is the Studio McGee vase and I'm bringing you guys in a little bit closer. Oh my God, look at the detail on this. The speckled detail is so, so pretty and it has quite a bit of texture, but also still very smooth. I love the coloring of this. It is so me. Uh, I love this vase so much and it was $30. So a little pricey for a vase, but look at the beauty of it, the shape, everything. It's just goodness. So the next two items that I picked up from Target have to be my favorites. They are these canisters from the Hearth and Hand collection. And oh my gosh, these are so beautiful and well-made for only $12.99. Now look at the inside. It is this beautiful, like beigey color, sandy color. Oh, so, so pretty. Now you're not gonna see the inside whatsoever, but I can appreciate how well of a job they did on the inside. It's so pretty and so smooth and shiny. And then the outside is that nice matte stone color. Mm. This is a good one. So the large one here is $12.99 and then the medium sized one is $9.99. So they do have a smaller one than this one here. So you can do so many things with these. I'm going to be displaying them in our kitchen. So displaying them on the countertops and then you can also put, you can, well technically they're used for bath storage. So it's a bath canister. So you can put cotton swabs, Q-tips, the possibilities are endless. Or if you're displaying it in your kitchen, you can definitely use it as a sugar jar, just like a tea jar, anything. Super cute and very well made. Let me bring you guys in just a little bit closer. Look at that detail on there, so pretty. I also picked up these really pretty mugs. They're quite small, but mighty. They definitely make a difference as far as where I'm putting them. For only $3.99, look how cute. They're so small, but like, come on. I'll only be using these for display though. Um, they are dishwasher and microwave safe, but they may get hot in the microwave is what it says. So definitely just for display for me, but I love the coloring on these and it matches that um, Studio McGee base that I just showed you guys in the beginning. Very pretty. So a few other pieces that I picked up from the Hearth and Hand collection. Here are some dish cloths. These are fairly neutral and I probably won't even touch these because they're so pretty, but I love that waffle material. So cute and very neutral. Like I said, that's what I'm going for. These are a set of four for only $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, they're very well made it feels like and just they're beautiful. So. These are going to look so cute displayed near my soaps. And yeah, just $10 for a four pack. Next up, I picked up this Hearth and Hand Pompous Soap and Lotion. I have my soap already displayed. I could not wait, you guys. Mm, this smell is delicious. I've also tried the Scent Zest, 
which is also a really good one, but my fiance actually really loves the pompous one. So I went ahead and picked up some more. And I haven't tried the lotion yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as good. So last but not least, from Target, I picked up two books for a coffee table, a shelf, just anywhere that I would feel like it would look good. I have been really into books lately, and I just love the way they make your home look. I feel like it's very grown-ish and just more mature, cozy. I just love the look of them, especially when the binding matches your style of decor. So um, the first book that I picked up is uh, Cozy White Cottage in Seasons. Now Liz Marie came out with this book, I believe last year, and I'm just now getting my hands on it, but I love the way this book looks. I love how neutral it is. And like I said, the binding is my style, neutral. It can go with pretty much anything. And yeah, it's just really pretty. I'm really excited to flip through this book. I haven't even opened it up yet, but I already know it's gonna be good because Liz Marie is great at styling and yeah. I'm really excited to get inspired by her and all of the stuff that she has in here. Let's just take a quick little flip and see. I love all of her vintage pieces that she finds and how she incorporates them into her home. But yeah, you guys just, I know like her kitchen, uh, so pretty. What else is in here? See, and this is even a cute idea for um, dishcloths, like the ones that I picked up from Hearth and Hand, just to kind of like style it on top of a riser very cute and put it next to some vintage wooden spoons. Love that idea. So I know that I will find so much inspiration from this book. The next book that I picked up is the Home Body Book by Joanna Gaines. And you guys, I'm pretty sure that all of you have your hands on this already. I am just really late to the game. So like I said, I'm just now getting into all these books and there's several more that I would like to pick up, especially from Amazon. Sorry you guys, I don't even know where I left off because my daughter ended up waking up in the middle of me filming. But like I said, I got this Home Body Book by Joanna Gaines. Very excited to flip through this book as well and see how much inspiration I can grab from her. All right, so moving on to Hobby Lobby decor items. I picked up this beautiful bleached wood doble and you guys, I have been really into like the whole lighter wood look. I actually have a tutorial for you guys at the end on how to kind of achieve this effect on darker wood stain items. So make sure you continue to watch this video and you stay tuned all the way until the end if you're interested in seeing that. But pick this up, it is a little bit on the pricey side, $34.99. I definitely waited for it to go on sale, 50% off. Just if you're looking to get it today and, if, and it's not on sale, I definitely recommend waiting to get that better deal. But just look how beautiful this bowl is and it's fairly large. I just love the whole texture on it. And you guys, honestly, I know I keep bringing up these dang dishcloths, but how pretty would this be like in a bathroom or I don't know, like you can do this and then maybe even like display your soap on there. How pretty. Or even like uh, you can get those very like natural looking soaps from home goods like the soap bars and place a bunch of those on there and place it in your bathroom um lots of ideas for this so cute i love the coloring Whew, i'm out of breath sorry guys super out of breath so next up from hobby lobby i picked up some dried florals now i know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea but I don't know, it's just something about these that I really, really love. They kind of look like little tiny mushrooms on a stick. So <laughs> they're super cute to me. I love the neutral color of these. And let me just show you what they look like in a vase. But let me show you the vase that I picked up first. So I also picked up this one and ooh, just so beautiful. Loving vases and vessels lately. Also definitely style change. So this one runs $39.99, 40 bucks on the pricey side. But like I said, get your stuff when it is on sale. That is the best way to shop at Hobby Lobby to me, um, getting the best deals for your money. So what I'm going to do is place these little stems here in this vase. 
and look how pretty like just spread them out a little bit oh I think it's so pretty I can't wait to share the space behind me with you guys I'm gonna redecorate with you and I think you guys are gonna love it I also picked up another vessel vase tabletop decor whatever you would like to call it now this one is $23.99 but definitely got this one on sale as well look how pretty the detailing is on here and I don't know what to call this it looks like a whole bunch of little cracks but it's so pretty and I love how glossy it is I love it so much the little handle so pretty and so cute it's very small for the price but like I said if you get it on sale you're doing a good job I really love how these two just play so well together next up we have a neutral oven mitt I love the coloring on this it's kind of like a taupey brown and this is from the gentle sands collection for only $5.99 so cute all right so the next last two items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby are two picture frames I have been really into the whole landscape paintings so I picked up this one and I love 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 how beautiful the frame is around it it's that lighter wood color that kind of like bleached look effect and I love the photo that's inside it's a, such a beautiful like serene um, landscape and I think it's very calming and is exactly what I'm trying to achieve in my new decor I just want a very nice calming space something that I can look at and I don't feel overwhelmed or anything like that just very minimalistic very serene calming all of that good stuff and I think this does just that next up I have this little um, landscape painting no this is not a painting this is more of just like a photo so this is just a photo of some pompous grass i want to say or wheat and i love the coloring on this as well it definitely fits into my style perfectly this one is 21.99 but on a 50 percent discount so now i'm going to share with you all my amazon find and it is this candle snuffer i think it's is, is it a snuffer or is it a husher Leave me a comment down below if you know exactly what this is called. I want to say it's a snuffer. I don't know. But I got this because I'm really trying to learn how to care for my candles. Also, this wick trimmer, just matte black. Very simple, but yet very stylish. I can put these on um, a pair of books, like stacked books. Or I can even put it on that tray that I showed you from Hobby Lobby, the bleached wood tray. Or even the DIY cutting board that I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. Lots of things that you can do with these. Just a simple cute display. Nothing too fancy, but definitely makes a statement. Alright, so we are reaching the end of this haul. The last and final store that I have to share with you guys is Home Goods. Now, I love going to Home Goods because you can find some really unique pieces, stuff that really nobody else has. And that's exactly why I like going there because, you know, usually Target, Hobby Lobby, a lot of people have the same stuff and you just really want your home, you just really want your home to be unique. So I came across these really pretty marble display balls and I feel like these are so in right now. Um, Crate and Barrel has these, even Studio McGee, the McGee & Co collection has a couple of these. These ones were $16.99, so a little on the pricey side, but I just could not pass these up because, you guys, look how beautiful they are. Love the, co the coloring on these, the veining of the marble. It's just so pretty, and although they are small, they can definitely make a statement as well. You can stack these on top of books, your coffee table, shelving areas. Um, the possibilities are endless with these. Lots of great styling that you can do. Sit down. I'm kind of rushing it now because she's wanting to come over here and play with all of this stuff and there's so many breakable items so just gonna kind of move it along here so i also picked up this um you guys don't come at me in the comments for this i really don't know what to call this i want to say it's a guacamole masher or just like something to grind stuff in i really don't know but again loving the marble look i don't know what it is my style is changing so much and definitely moving away from the just whole like real farmhouse look and moving to a more modern look i want to say if you guys watched the house of valentina she mentioned what was it called rustic luxury and i feel like that's exactly what my style has gone to or is going to 
So love, love, love this. Again, it is marble, so heavy in weight, such good um, material. This is marble, real marble, I think. $12.99, compare at $20 somewhere else. So I thought this was a great find. It has a little bit of glitter in there, but nothing that you can see too much. You can kind of feel a little speckle going on there. But I think this is going to be so pretty. I actually have this displayed in my hutch. I'll show you guys a quick little glimpse at that. But very pretty, love it so much. Okay, you guys, so last but not least, from Home Goods, I have been on the hunt for these black, like kind of matte black slate coasters. Did that make sense? I don't know. I seen it on, I think it was Jenna Pierce's um, channel. She had showed these really pretty coasters and I was like, oh my God, I need them. I was checking so many home goods and I cannot find them. And then finally, when I wasn't looking for them, I came across them. Doesn't that always happen when you're not looking for something, you see it, but when you are, it's just never going to appear. But anyways, these are those coasters. Oh my God. These are so beautiful and each one is different. So that one there, this one, this one is the smoothest out of the bunch. And then you have like this, but it's so surprising because the, the cups still sell in there very nicely. I've tried it out. Now the two, like this one and um, the one that I showed you before, like this one here, uh, this one actually sits really well on a cup. A cup really sits well on this one, but as far as this last one here, I definitely wouldn't hand this out to anybody because it kind of makes it impossible. The cup kind of tips over, but they are very aesthetically pleasing. All of the other ones work just fine. But yeah, love these and they're only $6.99. Okay, Holland wants to pop her head in here in just a minute to say hi. So I'm gonna let her say hi. She's eating candy. Cause you know, candy keeps the kids quiet, right? No, just totally kidding, but yeah. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hello. She's shy. Say hello. See, I'm a big girl now, huh? Some of you guys have seen her when she was super, super small. But she's getting to be a big girl. Can mommy have a kiss? Mm, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go watch Coco Melon. Coco Melon. Go watch Coco Melon. So that is going to wrap up today's haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all of the pieces and were able to grab some inspiration. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite piece and also what is your style evolving to or what is it staying at this year for 2022. Don't click out of the video just yet because I do have a DIY that I would like to share with you guys. It's going to be a DIY bleached wood riser it came out so pretty and it was so simple so if you guys are definitely into that go ahead and just keep on watching make sure that you guys are subscribed check out my other videos if you have a chance i'm sure you guys will love them just as well and i will see you guys all in my next video bye guys i'm going to be doing a fun little diy today i picked up this wood pedestal from home goods and it was beautiful when it first um i first got it of course it's not now because what I'm trying to do is strip it. So as you guys can see, all of this white kind of showing through, I went in with the citrus strip trying to remove the stain, but as you can see, it clearly didn't work. And then I've also tried applying bleach over top of it because um, I don't have a sander. Well, I didn't have a sander, now I do. I just came home from Lowe's and one of the guys suggested that I get a sander because I was literally going to sand this piece down by my bare hands. And he was like, oh no, honey, that is going to take way too long. It's going to consume your time and it's going to be very, very hard on you. So he recommended this black decker sander. So um, yeah, we're gonna try that out today. Mind you, this is my first time ever using a sander, but we're going to see, see how it goes. And then he also recommended that I use the 120 grid. This is um, fine. So there's not a lot that needs to come off, I don't think, as you can already see, like some of the underneath lid shining through. And then he also told me that I would need to finish it off with this polyacrylic, and this is in clear satin. So I'm trying to achieve like a bleached wood look like a very lighter color and this is going to be displayed in the kitchen i'm so excited i cannot wait to see how it turns out and how it's going to look styled 
So let's go ahead and get started. Before we start, of course, we have to put this baby together. Now, it was a little complicated for me, which it should not have been at all. It's so easy. So I think the only part that I struggled with as far as putting it together was um, putting the sander on. So that was a little confusing to me as far as clamping it down, but I ended up figuring it out. It's so simple. Don't get discouraged. Just read the instructions and follow it to a T and you will literally have no problems. It was honestly so funny when I had first turned this on because this thing is powerful. It may be tiny, but it is very strong. So I think I went in about four times of sanding and then that's when I decided to use bleach. So I would bleach it, let it dry, go back in with the sander, bleach it some more. I even left it overnight. So I will show you guys that in just a minute. But this is a process, you guys. You definitely have to have patience while doing this. How much you're messing with my feelings and my heart, oh, yeah. Okay, so I brought the board in from the garage. I tried to sand it as much as possible, but it just wasn't lifting to the color that I would like it to. So instead, I went ahead and added some bleach onto the board. And you guys, nothing fancy, literally just your household bleach Clorox. I've applied this with a paintbrush, literally soaked the entire board, brushed it over, and I've been letting it sit. So it's been on for a few hours now. As you can see, there's still some wet spots, so I'm going to let it sit till the morning and then see what it looks like. But as you can see, this is so much lighter. This was the original color, and you can see it's like a, a really big difference already. So I'm hoping the bleach works. We'll see. After um, tomorrow, it, when the bleach is all dried, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it back in with the sander and sand it and then see what color comes out to. I may have to bleach it one more time, but we'll see, I'm excited. As you guys can see in the last clip, it has gotten so much lighter. So now I'm just going to go back in with the sanding. I wanna say I did this process going back and forth between bleaching and sanding maybe five to six times. I honestly lost count because I just kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to, to try and achieve the color that I was really going for. I didn't want anything less. As you guys can see, I'm really just trying to get rid of those dark wood pieces. Like I said, you need to definitely have patience for this project. I would definitely love to try this method on some other wood pieces that we have in our home, like the bench that we have over in our dining space, or that's what I would call it at least, I think. <laughs> it's not technically a dining space, I always say this, because it is not, we don't have a dining table. But anyways, aside from that, I'm thinking about trying it on that bench because it has a very orange undertone that I just cannot stand. Part of me is torn because I really want to keep that color. I don't know. I'm confused a little bit <laughs> because my style of decor is changing so much. But I think it'll look really pretty if it just has that lighter 
wood look and it goes it, i think it'll go better with the floors but i don't know we'll see if you guys are thinking about trying this method on some of the wood pieces in your home <laughs> hold on leave me a comment down below letting me know i would love to see it somehow I don't know, maybe we can arrange that. Sorry, that was my daughter hauling again, but I'm going to show you guys how I bleached it one more time and then I'm going to share the final result. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share with a friend and I'll see you guys all very soon.